Hi! Welcome, welcome back to The Secret Ingredient, Season 2, Episode 1, in which we make shrimp, shrimp corn, corn cakes with, with soy aioli. Now, you voted. Yep. We heard you. And we are doing an entire season of all appetizers. Appetizers. Yeah, so get ready to make some delicious uh, appetizers to bring to your holiday parties. And, uh... Well, you know what else we should tell them about? What? Our podcast. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we accidentally <laughs> started a podcast. We accidentally started a podcast. And because, it's actually yeah. really good. Yeah, I thought it was kind of cute. It yeah. is cute. Yeah. But if you missed it, you might want to go back and watch, listen to the first one because we tell you all the appetizers we're going to be making yeah. this season. Yeah, get ready because it's going to make you hungry. Yep. So, uh, yeah, there's a lineup of delicious, delicious food. So, okay. Are we ready? Yeah, so today we are going to start with just making the sauce, right? And then we're going to put it aside. Yep. Okay. So we're gonna start with our soy aioli dipping sauce. Which I'm really intrigued by. There's a lot of good ingredients in it. So, um... Shall we begin? Yeah. Okay, so half a cup of mayo. Half a cup of mayo. <laughs> okay. Sounds good. Sound of Oh, nice. goodness. Yeah, this is some, uh, you know, delightful sounding ASMR right this now. This is why we should... <laughs> Okay, we're almost there, we're almost there. We like to keep it authentic here at The Secret Ingredient. You know, this is stuff that you would see in your kitchen at home. Maybe. Maybe. All right. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's that's probably pretty close to you. special, my dear. Excellent, excellent, okay. All right, Good. here we go. What's the next one? Um, one tablespoon of soy sauce. Oh, okay. Okay, ooh, one tablespoon. One of tablespoon. Delicious soy sauce. And then a tablespoon of the ketchup. You know, it's amazing how many sauces have ketchup in them. Ketchup, a lot. ketchup itself is kind of like a... What were we just talking about the other day? We were talking about something... Oh, grape, grape jelly in um, the cocktail hot dogs. Cocktail, cocktail uh, winners. Yeah. How a lot of people... Yeah, that's on the podcast, podcast, actually. Yes. Two teaspoons of Dijon. Teaspoons? Oh, the Dijon. One. Excellent. Do you guys remember this from season one? Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> Mustard everywhere! That's what happens when you keep the bottle upside down. See, normally when I make these things, I don't really do the squeezy. Um, no, I don't. I don't do the measuring cups. I just sort of like eyeball it. I feel like you know. Less We're dishes. doing this for you. It's easier to communicate what to do when uh, there's exact measurements involved. So our next ingredient is a half a teaspoon of the garlic powder. Half a teaspoon of the garlic powder. Okay. Mm -hmm. About a half a teaspoon. Okay. okay. Um, and a half a teaspoon of pe hot pepper sauce. Ooh. So, what kind did we choose? Um, we have a bunch of hot pepper yeah, sauce. Yeah, yeah. Garlic and pepper hot sauce. Garlic and Sammy pepper highly hot recommends sauce. it. It smells great. All right. Oh. There we go. We like things spicy. Okay. <laughs> and then just an eighth of a teaspoon of the ground pepper. All right. So, we're just going to. We're going to crack some pepper. Ooh. All right. Cool. All right. And so, we're going to winsk. You might remember winsking from season one. <laughs> it's one of my favorite things. Well, that's pretty good. Think we're good? Yeah. So there we have it. Soy aioli. Okay, so our next step is getting the onion and the garlic ready to actually make the shrimp corn cakes. Mm -hmm. All right, so it's a half a cup of onion. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna guess that's about a half a cup. It's like, probably pretty close. Yep. Yeah. And then it's supposed to be like two or three cloves of garlic, but in this family, it's always, more always, always more garlic. Double, double the garlic. Because garlic is good. Did you see that fast knife work right there? Yeah, fancy. All right, so we're going to chop some onion and some garlic. Yeah, and I'm going to take all the papery stuff off of this onion here. This is how I do garlic. Oh, yeah, that's the best way to do it. Smush it, comes and apart it... real easy. Be elegant with your onions. Yes. Be aggressive with your garlic, elegant with your onions. Interesting to ask the vegetables how they like to be treated. <laughs> Everybody has their own particular <laughs> ways that they experience pleasure. <laughs> We're a family show. <laughs> mm -hmm. I shouldn't be surprised when things like this come out of your mouth anymore. Uh... I'm the good one. Oh, are you? Okay. Yeah. I'm right. the good one. Excellent. And I'm the bad one. She's the naughty one. I didn't say that, I said naughty. Oh, okay. Oh, so one of the things that you mentioned the other day is that uh, you want to start making um, secret ingredient playlists. Oh, which, yeah. Uh, so we can't actually play music while we're doing this because everything's copyrighted. But we definitely think that playing music while you're cooking makes the whole experience more fun. So we'll give you a playlist. This is uh, chopping onions, making 
dry. Sometimes. It, it makes me cry a little bit. You know, I've heard that if you take water and you sprinkle it on the board before you begin, that really? that helps, yeah. I've heard chewing mint gum is supposed to help. I've heard looking into the freezer, like opening the freezer and blinking your eyes. I've heard like turning around three times while reciting the name of your four ancestors. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Ta-da! There's our garlic and our onions, Excellent. and we'll move on to the next piece. All right, so this recipe calls for us to use uh, deveined and shell taken off and tails taken off shrimp, which I did earlier. So we're gonna chop them small. Okay. It wants them chopped finely. Okay, chopped I've never uh, chopped shrimp finely before, so. I think that's can... good, that's perfect, what you're doing right there. Yeah, yeah. That, okay. So we're just cutting our shrimp, cutting our shrimp. Never done this to shrimp before. It feels almost like sacrilege to really <laughs> no to slice it up really tiny. Oh, it's gonna be so delicious. It yeah. is. It's kind of like um, you know crab cakes. You know, like you want the little the flavor in there, but to be a more consistent texture all the way through. You know what I bet would be good in here as well, which they don't actually have? Green onions. I was thinking jalapeno. Oh. Like a chopped up jalapeno. We participate in our local CSA. It's been great. And it's called Gardening the Community and they're amazing. They're an amazing program. Yeah, we're big fans. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is prep the dry ingredients before we get to uh, working on the stove. Are we ready? Yep. We need three quarters cup flour. Quarter cup cornmeal. This hasn't even been opened yet. It's a it's fresh brand bag. spanking new. Oh my gosh, spanking. that actually opened. Oh god. <laughs> shake, 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 shake. Okay, there great. Go. One teaspoon of baking powder. We're adding a tablespoon of cornstarch. One teaspoon of baking powder. One teaspoon of baking powder. One tablespoon cornstarch. Tablespoon cornstarch. Delightful. Okay. Salt and pepper. So salt about a quarter of a teaspoon and pepper a quarter of a teaspoon. Okay. There we go. Quarter teaspoon salt. Quarter teaspoon pepper. Ooh. It's wince game. Mm, I just got a nice whiff. Peppery goodness, yes. This is our dry ingredients, ready to go. All right, so the next step is taking it to the stove. So, part of my outfit includes white combat boots. Check these, these. Woohoo! Isn't it cute? I feel cute today. All right, so we're back. You might hear Babis in the background. Babis, aka Muffin, aka Kiara. He has a lot. She has a lot of nicknames. <laughs> um, she's playing with her papa in the other room. All right, so here we are. We did a wipe out of our gorgeous cast iron skillet. That is a very well seasoned cast iron. Yeah, I gotta say my, um, my honey does a good job keeping this cast iron skillet seasoned. All right, so we're gonna turn it on to a medium heat and let it start to get warm. We're gonna put some olive oil because we're gonna saute our onions and our garlic mm -hmm. and our shrimp. It's gonna smell so good in here. We're gonna let this heat up for, it's good to let your oil heat up first because if you don't and you, then your um, ingredients kind of just saturate in oil and they taste more like oil than you really want them to. You want the flavor of the olive oil, but you don't want it saturated. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. It's that's not heavy. the flavor you want to shine through. Right. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do, I believe, is the onions. I used to um, do garlic and onion at the same time, but it actually, uh, the peak flavor happens at different temperatures. So yeah. you want to start with uh, the onions first because they take slightly longer to caramelize and then the garlic next. Yep. Because if you start at the same time, my experience has been when I've done them, I tend to burn, burn my garlic. Yeah, you burn the garlic. Don't want to burn the garlic. Yes. All right, so we're just going to stir these around so that they get coated in the olive oil. Mm -hmm. Let it sit for a second. It's not quite sizzly yet enough to put in our garlic. with the garlic in here and then we're gonna add the shrimp which we just cut. long enough to make them pink right? just yeah you don't yeah. want to overcook the shrimp and yeah. we've got way more shrimp than we need adding shrimpish adding this is gonna be kind of hard to do this way <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah yeah just 
so. We're still getting used to cooking like on camera in this kitchen. Yeah. Now I'm just gonna saute these until they get pink. Like you don't want to do it any longer. If you cook shrimp too long, it gets tough. If you've ever had chewy shrimp, it was overcooked. It's starting to turn pink. We've still got some translucent kind of gray. Keep it stirring because you don't want them to stick in. <laughs> this is good. We don't want to go beyond that. Yeah, that looks awesome. Okay. Nice pale pink. Turning it off. Okay. I'm removing it from the heat. Excellent. All right, so the next thing we got to do mm -hmm. is combine our wet ingredients or, or, yeah, our wettish ingredients. Here we have about a cup of corn. Maybe a little bit more. Yeah, it's like a smidge more than a cup. All right. Okay. We're going to use one large egg. One large egg. And then we need one cup of cream style corn. Um, so Maude had actually made the cream style corn this morning, which was yeah, awesome. Yeah, they couldn't find cream corn at the store, so uh, we made it ourselves, which I think actually probably tastes way better. Yeah, so. that's probably about a cup. I don't want to put too much in. It was in. just a little bit over a cup when I put it in there, so I would right. do like one tiny, like, yeah, like that. All right. So that's a good amount. Um, okay. Now we're going to add in the shrimp and the onions and the garlic. All right. Ready? Yep. Go ahead and... Woo. All right, so Maude, it's mixing up our shrimp and sauteed onions and garlic with the corn and creamed corn and the egg. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. Does it look good? Yep. All right, so our next thing we're gonna do is actually add them into our dry ingredients. All right. Nice. And we're gonna mix it, stir it until it's just moist. You don't want to over mix it. Okay. Right. Just until everything is moist. Okay. So I'm gonna sort of fold it together then. Yep. Yeah, okay. Mixing it together. Just, I can make up songs and that's okay. I do that a lot too. <laughs> Mixing it together just until it's moist. I don't know why I tend to sound like I'm a country singer. <laughs> All right, we good? That looks good to me. All right. All right, so that's mixed together. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get ready to fry it. So we'll be back in just a second. So we're back and we're getting ready to fry up our corn cakes, our yes. shrimp corn cakes. I'm preparing a plate with some paper towels for after our... To kind of absorb the extra oil. And this has got the heat on, right? Yep. Right. And we're using canola oil to fry. Yeah, we want about a quarter inch of oil on the bottom of the pan. And this is a big pan, so... Yep. Is that... Maybe, maybe a little bit more. Yeah. Like that? Okay. Awesome. Oh, man. Oh, man. I don't fry things very often. I think the last time I did it was during an episode that we did something. Yeah. And here we are. The with last time we did shrimp. Okay. When we did the yeah, that's Yeah, that coconut shrimp. And the dipping sauce was our, like... Got real creative with the dipping sauce. Oh yeah, we went too. through like a ton of mustard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we kept adding more things to it. We're gonna use this ice cream scoop to give us nice like, uniform uh, corn sizes. Cakes. Yeah. So really, we're just waiting for this oil. Okay. Oh, I'm excited. All right, so I think we can go. Okay. Round it. Oh, and it says we're gonna keep them um, about one and a half minutes each side, so that we are gonna turn. Them. Okay. All right. Sounds here good. Here we go. All right, here we go. First one. Ooh, I'm excited. Shrimp corny cakes. Right, shrimp. Now it's looking like Now it's looking good. Oh, there we go. Perfect. And I'll okay. flip while you're... All right, perfect. Because this pan also tends to get sticky. Okay. Even though it's really well seasoned. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yep. Okay. Mm. So we get about a half a minute more on those first ones that went in. We'll turn them and see if they're kind of golden, and if not, we'll flip them back. But I definitely think we want to compress it as yeah, we... Yeah, I think making them really, really dense in the little scoops before putting them in. Hmm. Yeah, I almost... So this is our first time doing this. I, I would almost recommend actually chopping up some of the whole kernel corn a little bit. Because I feel like yeah, that's, that's what's causing it to fall yeah. apart, maybe? So that's the thing about the creamed corn that the recipe called for is that a lot of the corn is sort of um, like broken down and blended a little bit um, because you're using like the white part of the the corn kernel that's more starchy and like kind of milky. Um, and since we kind of made that ourselves, it's, just a, it's all one big experiment. Yeah. I do think that's putting jalapeno into it, though. I do too. Actually. Yeah. That, all right. Go ahead. Look up more. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, I think jalapeno would be really good, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I would definitely put more spice in it next time. Yep. I think it could definitely handle more spice. Yeah, how many of our uh, appetizers that we put on our list are ones that involve deep frying? <laughs> uh, not many. Okay. Thank goodness. This, I, you know, deep frying is actually like, if you watched my first episode ever before Maudit was with me, um, deep frying is not my forte. It's not something I do a lot. Why are my falafel not cooking? They're like kind of falling apart. What have I done wrong? All right, we're taking the last ones out. We're gonna set up to taste test and we'll be right back. Ta-da, so here they are. Our completed Aren't... corn cakes, shrimp yeah. corn cakes. And this is the dipping sauce and we're gonna try them and let you know how they taste. I'm gonna All wait right. for you. Okay, you ready? Here you go. Mmm, mm, it's good. Oh, that changes. Mm-hmm. I mean, I still want a little more bite in there, but that's yeah. got a lot of flavor mm -hmm, in it. Mm -hmm. It does. Now I'm gonna drizzle. Yeah, it has. I double dipped. It has um, a really good like texture, like with mm -hmm. the corn. All right, we're gonna get we somebody else to somebody come else try on camera. We'll be right back. <laughs> Taste tester. Mmm. Mm-hmm. You like it? I do. I like the flavor, I like the texture, nice bit of the crunch. I like the bit of, yeah. We wanna nice. next time we we wanna try putting some jalapeno in there. I was gonna say like it a, needs a little bite. A little bit of diced jalapeno. Mm -hmm. Maybe even pickled jalapenos. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Get a little acid in there too. Yeah, yeah, a little bit of the vinegar. Mm-hmm. I think that's a great idea. Or just jalapenos, yeah, but like those are really good. I think you throw the jalapenos in there. And you've got a super keeper. So if this was like um, a menu item at a restaurant, I think I would probably order it every time. Like I it's really good. And, oh yeah. no, I would, it's a good yeah. appetizer. Yeah, no, yeah. I would totally order these for the table. And yeah, I think um, and then a not smaller... let the table eat them. Just yeah, not let the table eat them. <laughs> I really like um, the dipping sauce. I hope the dipping yeah, sauce. Yeah, the dipping sauce. Is sauce. Oh, the dipping sauce really helps. Let's try that little mm. piece. She's like, I want this. You want to try this one? Yeah, she's, she's, she's really into it. <laughs> nope, this isn't her thing. We got one more thing we gotta do. You wanna sing it with us? Ready? Padoodle, 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 doodle, doodle. The secret ingredient is love. Mwah. <laughs> Ta-da! Padoodle, 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 doodle, doodle. The secret ingredient is love.